gentlemen, welcome to the first International Nuclear Science Olympiad! It is indeed a great honor to be part of this very historic and prestigious Olympiad. I'm so happy to see so many countries uh, represented and so many friends. Hopefully when you go home, we increase the awareness of, of nuclear. It has a bad reputation, but it's doing a lot of good, not only for energy, but for medicine, for agriculture, and many other things. Let us remember that the quest for knowledge knows no boundaries. Regardless of where we come from, we are united in our pursuit of understanding and innovation. Together, we have the power to shape the future of nuclear science and to create a world that benefits from its tremendous potential. with the very high quality of organization. You know, this is very difficult to be the first and be successful. And I would like to congratulate all of our organizers, Filipino Nuclear Research Institute, with the great success. You are the first and you are successful. First ENSO, I didn't expect the successful of this first ENSO in this way because we expected a lot of challenges that will face the first host of ENSO. But uh, actually, the organization of the first ENSO was uh, wonderful. Everything, every details of the organization was exceptional. Lo the logistical uh, organization and the exam also preparation and everything was gone as planned. been preparing for our whole lives in the sense that we have always been pursuing our interests in physics and this is merely the next step in a journey to allow us to learn more, to discover more and to, as this talk just now mentioned, to push the, push the envelope and to see what, what lies beyond. We just had some prior experience so it was much better and we did a better job at the theoretical exam. Uh, I participated in uh, this Olympiad because I am good at physics and uh, I want to try something new. So like in our high school curriculum, there's not much about nuclear or nuclear physics. Uh, nuclear physics is a, such a new topic for me. My grandfather taught me that nuclear technology is always developed by you, young people and students. He was 24 years old when he was recruited from the University of Chicago to work at Oak Ridge. And it thrills me that 24 is older than most of you here in this room. Your involvement as young people and students gives me great hope for the future of nuclear energy. It may surprise you to know that many of the greatest works in science and engineering is always done by young people and people who are just out of school. 
So as you go out now to solve the problems placed in front of you by the scientific committee, remember that you are not simply solving problems to show your skills to your peers or to make your parents proud. You are demonstrating your ability to work on one of the most important problems to all of our futures. And it's through working on the hardest problems that the greatest strides are made. I'm very happy to see the how it is being organized, very professionally done. And since we were all together from the beginning, from the conception until the organization, uh, it went very smoothly and surpassed our uh, imagination on how it would look like. So I feel this would be a, the start of uh, many high quality uh, events uh, for the organization of an International Motor Science Olympiad.